All right, how's it going? This is Cole Rolf, and welcome back to RimWorld Beta 19. Man, so I guess it's only a few more times that I get to say Beta 19 before we've got the full version released. Sounds like there's not going to be too many changes, but, um, you know, just some bug fixes and a few other things which I mentioned last time. But, you know, bug fixes are always good. Really looking forward to it. So this time, I think we're going to just uh, try to attend a few things around the colony and continue building and working on our defenses that we got going on here. So yeah, this one's basically done. So I guess we can queue up this side and then um, yeah, that'll be good. Should also queue up some more mining. We're going to need more uh, slate bricks for building. Hoping Harry can get this research done finally. Hopefully. <laughs> Stevie is still catatonic, unfortunately. But that will help him get through his alcohol withdrawal while he's out. So it's, you know, it's, it's not the worst thing, I guess. It'll be okay. And, oh, it looks like, Kate, you are completely healthy now. Wonderful. Let's release you before you have any other delusions of getting out on your own. Let's just send you on your way. Oh, solar flare. Oh, well. Yep, there you go. Let her out. And goodbye. Take care. Don't come back. <laughs> Uh, and Maverick here, we're working on recruiting, right? Yep. Okay, working through his remaining resistance. Macy is back to normal. Oh, I guess Harry can't research now because the uh, research bench needs electricity. Oh, and Eel needs treatment for her asthma, it looks like. Okay. Uh, we are gonna have to go through now that we're now that we're all walled in. Uh, there's a couple animals that uh, made it in, and I'm looking at you, Mr. or Mrs. Cougar. We'll have to get a team together and take you down, as well as probably a lot of other animals that are not our own pets. I'm a little worried if there's ever a. Um, Psychic pulse, an animal psychic pulse or something, they'll go berserk and then they're already inside our colony. Wow, and the cougar will run out of food eventually and then start hunting people. Let's see, what do you. Oh, it doesn't show your. Okay, it doesn't show your needs anymore, so you don't know. Interesting. Oh, and Stevie is up again with extreme break risk. Hopefully he will go and harvest a rice plant. Why don't you attend to your needs? Uh, okay, I guess you can't do a whole lot with those. I heard a squeak. I think that cougar just ate something. Okay, let's... Um, solar flare is ending good. Let's actually get everyone... And Lexi, let's get everyone up and over here. And let's just address this cougar right now before we forget, because it's it's bound to happen that I'm going to forget. And actually, let's see. Harry, we'll have you over here. And I really want everyone that is a... Oh, sorry, Stevie. Didn't mean to bring you along. Forgot. Okay, everyone else. Let's come on over here, and let's attack. Boom! And let's get a few get a uh, few other things that are here within range. Actually, you know what? Let's just sweep. I forbid these guys. Let's just sweep around, see if there's anything else that we need to take care of. Squirrel there. Uh, pretty sure I selected it. There we go. It's just a lot safer this way. And a turtle. 
Sorry, turtle. Wow. This is good target practice for a few people. Hopefully we don't destroy this wall before we take down a turtle. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. Okay. Everyone on your way. Yeah. All right. So that's the plan, anyways. Uh, unforbid all these. They will get built. Good stuff. Okay. Yep. I'll bring you guys back in when uh, something interesting happens. Three-person horseshoes going on. Oh, now two-person. Good fun. Enjoyed playing horseshoes. Haven't played it in a long time, but uh, it's actually a pretty tricky game to score half-decent points and be consistent on. Especially if you set it up correctly. The pin's actually pretty darn far away. Work Frenzy Harry. Okay. I'm counting on you, man. You're gonna get this research done one of these days. <laughs> if you get your research done, we'll be able to get things like Bionics. And then we'll be able to get Krika back up. And then we'll be able to get you a new left arm. Maybe even a new eye. And maybe a new right arm. Anyways, lots of good things. Please keep working. You're... Well, fortunately or unfortunately, you're our best researcher. <laughs> no one else has joined the colony that's actually halfway decent at uh, researching, except maybe Krika. And he's, well, in need of the fruits of research. So, glad to see the work frenzy. Let's, uh, let's get going. Well, we've almost got these spike fall traps done. That'll be good. And then once that's done, I'll work on the other combat area. I'll probably want a few more spike traps in different places. May even have a different entrance and exit for our colonists. They may not actually get in and out this way. May put spike fall traps in here just to knock a few down, uh, raiders down on the way in. Um, although there isn't really a good way then to let caravans in. You don't really want them running in and dying on your traps. Anyways, we'll give that some thought. They may just avoid it and stand outside here, which wouldn't be the end of the world. It's almost nice that they wouldn't be, uh, Wandering in the colony and waking everyone up when everyone's trying to sleep and <laughs> uh, uh, We're at the point we've we're making some fine meals Which is great to see So Yeah, I think the last little while it's just been that uh, we had everyone injured that was a cook and just nothing was getting made Yeah uh, Still working away on these spike fall traps, and the main holdback right now is that, um, yeah, we keep running out of slate. So that's almost constantly being made. Oh, and I finally built an electric smelter and set up a couple things. Uh, smelt metal from slag uh, from our stockpile, as well as smelt weapons, so that way any weapons that are I like to set it up as two, so one for normal and, and below any kind of weapon, smelt it if it's below 50 hit points. And then a second one for poor and awful, or awful to poor weapons, if it's below 80 hit points, smelt it. Because really we don't want to be using poor weapons or awful weapons if we can help it. It doesn't seem like anyone's doing it. Oh, Maisie is. Oh! Wow, that must mean that um, we are ahead completely on meals. Crazy. Well, that's good. Yeah, so that'll get a little bit more steel uh, for the colony, which is good. Oh, I didn't set that up for the stockpile. Maisie's running around all over the map. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's see. Steel slag. Let's set the radius to 
in here. 35, and that should capture where our stockpile is. So there. Now the only... If someone's moved it to our uh, stockpile, then it'll be set up to be uh, smelted. There we go. Forgot the radius. <laughs> Don't really want them running over, you know. Someone can haul it in if there's, you know, slag somewhere. So I don't, okay, yeah, so for right here, someone can run over, grab this stuff, and bring it in, but I don't really want the uh, person doing that running all the way across the map and back. That is quite inefficient. Uh oh, Stevie's catharsis has worn off, so now the uh, serious pain and alcohol withdrawal is really tearing his mood down. He is at 92%. Just hang in there, Stevie, a little bit longer, and you'll be okay. Ah, uh, man. It'll be so nice when he's not <laughs> constantly snapping. Ah, uh, this felt like the last, the last couple of months has mainly been dealing with Stevie. Just keeping him under control. Ah, oh, well. I'll get through it, and we'll all get through it too. <sighs> Finally, microelectronics is researched. So let's set up multi analyzer research, and then once that's done, Harry would like you to do the honors. Use the tech prof sub persona core. Let's get that right away. Boom! What? Oh my! Oh no, it did it <laughs> for a second. I'm like, uh. I thought it did. I thought I read that as microelectronics. Okay, so we've got our multi analyzer. Wonderful. So we still need fabrication and bion bionics, and prosthetics. And we're actually gonna go for gun turrets before we do that because that's. Pretty. We'll need that for our defenses. I don't really want to get overwhelmed because we um, don't have that. All right, here we go. Let's get this set up. Let's put it on this side. Sure. There we go. Wonderful. So that'll speed up research ever so slightly. Well, 10%. And the way things are going, you know, that will definitely be helpful. <laughs> okay, good. And get the last one done here. Wonderful. So with that, let's get the, um, let's get this side set up. Three, so we'll set up here, so we'll go this way. Scroll back a little bit. And to about here, somewhere, we'll start there. And then, let's see, come out here. So there. And there, so we'll just cancel this one. There we go. So we'll get that. So this will be the funnel, and then we'll put a little trap on the outside here, just to keep people, uh, get rid of their line of sight directly in. And I guess I can set, uh, this to be cleared away. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I guess I can set up the, um, growing zone trick through here as well. Go. Make sure. There, we get all of it. Oh no, don't want that. Here, come down here. There, didn't get that. Okay, allows sowing. No. And that should clear all the trees. There we go. And uh, I know you can, and I know some people like to pave or put down concrete, but I find. What ends up happening is it, it does prevent fires and whatnot, and obviously prevents stuff from growing. 
but it also increases the movement speed to 100%. So having it as dirt, it keeps it at 87%. So it means it's slowing down the attackers as they come in. And I kind of like that more than um, keeping, you know, we can, we can harvest stuff to keep the plants down. Fires usually aren't a problem if there's no trees, there's not a whole lot there, it doesn't spread too much. So yeah, this is, this is the strategy that I like to use anyways. Extreme straight, uh, break wrist Stevie, yep. What percentage? 96%. Good. Still getting there. Oh, and we got our multi-analyzer completed. Excellent. Oh, you can move them now. Not that you typically need to, but um, oh, I guess it's an option. That's good. No reason why you shouldn't be able to pick them up and move them around. Inspired Recruitment Livy! Okay! Oh, I know what to do with that. Let's see, Warden. Uh, Eel will turn you off for the moment. There we go. Perfect. Good to have another colonist. And we got some clothes being made. We still have a few people with tattered apparel, but um, starting to work on it. And yeah. That will definitely improve things a little bit even more. What's going on here? Oh, phooey. <laughs> uh, sewing. Yeah, I noticed that uh, last time. There was a few places that I missed. And... Yeah. Oh, dear. Stevie's passed out again. Uh, someone, Eel, are you, no, you're resting, okay, everyone, <laughs> come on, people, Lexi, please rescue Stevie, thank you. I don't think he really needs tending to, per se, but, um, can't just leave him blanked out in the, uh, in the rain like that, that's no good, yeah, let him get to sleep. He's actually so close. 99%. Uh, he'll wake up and he'll be fine. He'll be a new man. It'll be wonderful. And Maverick has joined the colony. Hooray! Alright, get yourself some new clothes and stuff. Oh, he's already running around like crazy. Oh, right, because we haven't set his parties. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got going for you here. Uh, handle. Yeah, don't really need you to do that. Alright, you are, you're a cook. You're not a very good cook right now, but, um, let's set you doing that. And let's not worry about that. Construction, you're pretty good. Let's do that. Yeah, you got a double passion. And for mining as well. Oh, yeah, that's right, you're an excellent miner. Good. Let's do that. And see how that works for now. Alright. Great. Okay, you picked up the veil. No? Alright. Wouldn't be my choice. Um, do we not have any other hats? Huh. Well, once we get enough clothes that everyone has... doesn't have tattered apparel, we can switch things around and sort out clothing priorities because I think we're at a point where we can um, we can make stuff and people can wear it and that would be much better than what uh, what we've been doing. All right, so this is probably a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, I think this is good for now. All right, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, and Ibix is self-tamed, sure. <laughs> Alright. Thanks everyone for watching. Take care.